So after starting off my journey throughout Japan and Sapporo, I started traveling down to the eventual city of Nagasaki. First up along the way, Hakodate. A city with a very small town vibe, one that definitely doesn't roll off the tongue of pretty much all tourists. It's a place with a lot of rich history and houses the Goryo Kaku, a star-shaped fortress built in 1866 as a center for politics, foreign diplomacy, and defense in northern Japan. It looks super unique and insane, like something out of Battlestar Galactica. So on my first real day exploring Akadate, I decided to go suss it out. Oh. Ah. Toyota. Toyota. Ah. Oh. <coughs> Last night probably was the roughest that I've ever felt. It is 2 p.m. Um, I'm fine. I'm a bit sick still. My nose is kind of starting now. Oh, and I just have shit stuck in my throat. I don't care about that though. The thing I'm down about is the fact that I lost my wind muff filter for my uh, Sony camera. Which means that if I'm outside, like, you won't be, the audio will be scuffed. Which is annoying, so. I think until I get that, most of the shit will be voiceover. Oh. Alright, I'm gone. Okay, let's go. Oh. So scared. I don't want anything in my room to be get taken. All right. Ooh, Hakadate. I feel like once I'm outside, I feel better. Oh. Ooh, it's cold. It said they said it was 15 degrees or 11 degrees today, but the weather just changes like that. It feels like one degree. So my time spent in Hakodate wasn't the grandest. I was a bit burnt out and sick, so I didn't make the most use of my two full days there. Although I was thankful that I was sick on probably the least important leg of my trip. And there were only really three things I wanted to do: visit the star-shaped fortress grow up the tallest mountain and try the ice cream as I heard that the ice cream or dairy products were a must try even in snowy cold conditions. First up, visiting the star shaped fortress. Not before some food though. I didn't really know where the good spots were and I didn't really feel like McDonald's so I just went to some random spot I saw that had curry rice and looked very nice. It was still my early days of being in Japan, so I didn't really know what to do, but the lady working there was kind enough to help me with the notorious Japanese ticket machines. I was surprised there was no one there, maybe because it was just past lunchtime, because the food there was so good. One thing I loved about Japan was how organized everything was, giving you all sorts of different condiments and stuff. I ordered some curry udon noodles with pork katsu and rice and it costed a thousand yen which was roughly around 10 Australian dollars which was so worth it for something as filling as that. The smaller towns or cities I noticed are a lot cheaper when it comes to food and other stuff which makes sense I guess. So after the delicious first meal in Hakodate I hit the road again. Arigatou That was very, very filling. That was incredibly filling. I think it's because my stomach shrinked <clears throat> from not eating or hardly eating anything. But that was very good. I mean, there was no one in there, but it was, it is close to closing time. Do you hear that wind? Do you hear that fucking wind? I'm gonna stop talking then. Yeah, so despite it not snowing, Hagadate actually felt colder than Sapporo, and that's because it's like a seaport city. So as you heard, the wind was so strong, it was distorting my camera's microphone. But since I was situated on the narrow side of the city, it doesn't take too long to walk to the station. There, I wanted to book my ticket to Sendai early. For small tickets like Hagadate, you don't need to, but if you're ever in a major city like Tokyo or Osaka and you have to buy all your tickets by hand, like uh, with the uh, ticket machines, then the best thing to do is buy it the day 
before or some few days before because it gets pretty pretty busy on the day it gets so busy and you'll you'll soon see you you, you might be lining for a while then you'll be able to set a schedule for yourself and you are able to get the best reserved seating too but unfortunately it was still early days so I didn't exactly know how the machines worked all that well and which ticket to buy since I also wanted to experience first class as well but didn't know which leg of the trip to take it on. So I just left and hitched a ride with the taxi to our main destination of the day, Goryokaku. When I got there I could already see the observation deck. I went inside to take a look and a gander, saw the lovely interior, saw a booth serving ice cream already but then saw a bunch of tourists flood in which yeah, I was surprised too to see some foreigners even in a small city like this one. But because it still hadn't quite hit sunset yet, I decided to explore the fortress grounds first. Fears, I wanna... <clears throat> I wanna go into the fortress first and then when it's sunset or close to it, go to the tower. It's not snowy here. Which is a shame. I missed the snow. Here we go. Looks dead. <laughs> <coughs> That's bad, eh? But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> during the cherry blossom season, this place looks really nice. But during winter, oh, it's not snowing. Fuck. Dude, this place looks super cool during the snow time too. Like a layer of snow. I thought we would get that. Oh, wow. This looks nice. This is nice. Oh shit, damn! You can see the tower from here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm using the action cam. Should swap to my mirrorless. But the action cam is just so conveniently good oh wow yes yeah, so unfortunately it looks like it hadn't snowed in Hakodate for a while now since there were no visible evidence of even snow melting which was a shame as you see here this is what it could have looked like if it were snowing i'm not going to lie with Hakodate not snowing and just looking mostly like dead winter plains definitely didn't make me enjoy it as much as i should have as the snow really was a vibe in Sapporo but oh well, it was still nice to step on a bit of history before we saw the epic bird's eye view of the place, which is what we came for. So we had to cross two small bridges to get to the main fortress and even though it was kind of dead, it was still pretty scenic. Damn, we can go up here. No drone. Yeah, I wish I could bring my drone, but there's a lot of rules and laws. What are we gonna do? <coughs> Oh shit, it's so bad. The weather. Oh fuck. It's so cold. Oh my god. This is nice though. Whew, it is cold today. Colder than Sapporo. Which is strange considering Sapporo was more up north and snowing, but that just goes to show you the power of wind and a town by the seaport. But anyway, after seeing the beautiful scenic views, I saw an interesting looking landmark which was described as the Magistrate's Office. You could go in it, I didn't though because I'm pretty sure they were renovating it at that time. <clears throat> this is a nice place. Too bad I'm fucking... It's too bad it's so cold bro. Like at least be cold, but at least, no, be cold but at least have some snow. But it is interesting going to a fortress where I'm pretty sure they used to battle. Yeah, I don't know the full story. I'll probably search it up for you guys. But yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'm not a history buff or too knowledgeable. I just know the basics. So feel free to search it up online if you're interested. I walked all the way to the other side. Didn't see anything else. So I decided to just head back. Look at this ice. Do you see how crunchy it is? I like how not busy at all right now this place is compared to the tower. It's a nice uh, place to 
you know, walk trail, walking trail. So with that being said, I headed back to the tower, got my ticket, and then finally headed up to the observatory deck. Even though I purchased my ticket online from Kluke, I still had to exchange it for a physical ticket at the booth, so just keep that in mind. And up there, the views were spectacular. Full 360 views, interesting figures talking about the place. I didn't record it, but I also saw the staff attentively wiping down all the surfaces, very clean and organized, but the views are what you come for and they definitely do not disappoint. It's definitely not the best views in Hakodate, I don't think. I think Mount Hakodate has this beat obviously, but this is still a must visit in my opinion if you're ever in Hakodate, because just like the differences between the Sapporo TV Tower and Mount Moawa in Sapporo, you get the same here. This place is really good for clear and closer views. But unfortunately, it wasn't sunset yet, and I didn't really feel like waiting all that long up there, so I left after buying another keychain for my collection. I also felt really rough. The coldness and my sickness was really getting to me, so I just decided to take a break. So yeah, I thought collecting keychains in every city that I go to would be a great souvenir for me and a great way to showcase the different cities that I had been to. Now after a bit of a break, I headed back up again to see the night views. Alright, I bought another ticket. It's only 10 bucks, so <clears throat> not too bad. Um, but yeah. So once you're up there, you can't go down. Unless you buy another ticket. Oh. But I really want to see the night one too. So, yeah. I didn't realize how fast it was to get up here. Like compared to many of the other places, like the Taru one was hell. At least I got to see the cool little elevator design again. <laughs> when I got up there, it seemed I was a bit late to the party, but all I can say is $20 well spent today. $10 already seemed like a steal because places like this in a big city like Tokyo would cost $20. Just go to, sh to show how expensive touristy cities are. Now even though the place looked really cool with the illuminated lights, it could have looked way better. I also heard that there were fireworks around the time of the year that I was there, but unfortunately it looked like I just missed it. At least there was the Illuminations though, which runs from December till the end of Feb each year. I'm unsure if there's Illuminations outside of this period, you just have to make sure yourself. Unfortunately I don't feel very good. Uh, I feel kind of weak and I have a cough, so I'm able to experience all this city has to offer. Oh, I missed trying the ice cream, which I really wanted to try. I tried walking into the fortress again, but looks like they closed it after sundown. Bro, there were like two ta there were like taxis now, there's none. Oh, I don't want to walk back. I remember I had to walk a while, like 15, 20, or maybe 30 minutes or so just to find a taxi, like I couldn't find it at all. So did some other guys who couldn't find a taxi. But eventually we got one back to the station. I don't know why we headed back to the station. Maybe because I needed some food, but at least we saw some other hidden gem there while we were at it. Oh, how could that is a very... Oh, this is fucking insane, bro. Has a very old and small city vibe. I love it. Although I do find that once I exit one city and go to the next, I do miss the last city. I still do miss Seoul. Fuck, Seoul was amazing. Mostly because I wasn't sick. Now that I'm sick, oh. Doing everything is a struggle, dude. I'm not able to do the things that I want to do, which is unfortunate. I think it's just because it's too cold. I'm not used to the cold weather. And it sucks at this place. Despite it not snowing, still is colder than Sapporo. <laughs> this cough is so shit. Ah, but yeah. Gonna go to Family Mart, buy some stuff. I most likely won't go out to eat today. I just can't be bothered. And that is indeed what I did. I was feeling the full force of my cough. You'll hear a little bit about it later. 
and my body ached from the cold, so I just had a browse of the family mart, and I swear it was no joke. One thing I missed so much about Japan looking back at it was the convenience stores, and after buying some of the essentials, I headed back. Damn, that looks bowly, bro. What the fuck is that? You see this right now? Do do my pop? I swear, it's these small towns that are pretty sick. Eh? Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <coughs> Definitely take a photo of this, dude. Harm, sweet harm. I guess. Looks even better this way. Oh, fuck. Oh. <coughs> I love that. Well, I. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, fuck me. I'm glad they do give you extra pajamas, which is good. Ah, oh, but I feel like complete shit. This is probably the worst I felt. And it's crazy how, I mean, like when you're in a shitter environment and when you're feeling shitter, the homesickness kind of kicks in. Like I kind of want to go home. And I miss my, like, I had a dream last night about my parents. <coughs> it kind of sucks that I'm sick right now, but hopefully this will go away once I get to Tokyo. Man. Feeling really bad. But yeah, I caved. I got grand class to Sendai. I don't know why, like, Sendai tickets on its own, by itself, is 188, close to 200 bucks, like, from Hakodate, and support to Hakodate, which is longer, costs less. What the hell? Like, it costs twice as much to get to Sendai from here, which is weird. Like, last time I checked. But I paid an extra $100 for Grand Class because I was like, oh, that experience with the Shinkansen was so shit, especially when it's packed. Like, I felt so shit on that Jenkinson. I, I, I think I mentioned it. The seats were so hard. My fucking butt leg, like, where the butt meets the leg on the right side fucking hurts when I sit down still. So I was like, I had to sit grand class eventually. And I decided to do it right now. Like, I wanted to experience it at least once. Um, I was going to do it from Sendai to Tokyo, but... Said I took you, it was only two hours, it's not that long, so. Paid another hundred and something for Grand Class. Perfect, they bought the right ticket. Jeez, you had to buy two tickets one from Hakodate to Shin Hakodate, and then transfer. I don't know. But yeah. That's the end of this shit vlog, shit day. <coughs> <coughs> if I wasn't sick, I could do so much. I think it's just, it's too cold. It's it's too cold to do anything, which is uh, very annoying. I hate the coldness, but I mean, Sapporo was cold too, but Hakodate feels way colder. And it's not even snowy, so it doesn't even look as cool. But yeah, see you tomorrow.